Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. This is Mr. Mahmoud Hilmi from Alander School, the Egyptian section. Today we will start with the English course, English in Mind, for Fred 3. We will start with Unit 1. Okay, Module 1, The Wonders of the Mind. In this module, we will learn about Autistic servants, people of unique talent, the powerful healing effects of the human mind, plants from the Amazon used for medical purposes, differences in male and female brains, women in male sports. Okay, so we will start with unit one, super brains. In this unit, we will learn about tense revision vocabulary, expressions with mind, vocabulary, expressions with brain. Read and listen. What do you think the two boys in the picture have in common? Read the text to check your ideas. Yes. In 1850, an American lawyer, James N. Muthun, bought a slave to work in his home. The slave, a woman, had a small child called Tom, who was blind and autistic. One day, Pewson was walking around his garden when he heard music coming from the house. He went inside to investigate and found young Tom playing on the family piano. Pewson realized that the boy who was only four, had special abilities. He hired a band of musicians to come to the house and play in front of him. Tom reproduced perfectly the music he had heard. This confirmed Pewton's suspicion. Tom had the ability to memorize and repeat pieces of music after hearing them just once. In 1857, Blind Tom, as he was called from then on, took part in his first public performance. The reviews were so good that Houston took him on a tour of the US. Three years later, Blind Tom was invited to the White House, where he performed for the president. Over the next 40 years, Tom performed shows all over the US as well as visiting Canada, the UK, and several South American countries. His concerts were a mixture of classical music and his own compositions. They also featured the section called the challenge when members of the audience played a piece of music on the piano, which Tom then had to reproduce he never fell. Lion Tom but died in 18 and 8. This is the story of Lion Tom. Now we will see the story of Stephen Welchire. Stephen Welchire was born in 1974 in London. He was mute, unable to speak. And at the age of three, was diagnosed with autism. What do we mean by autism? Autism a developmental disorder causing difficulty with social relationships and learning. However, Stephen was a remarkable talent, has a remarkable talent. Since the age of three, he has been creating the most amazing drawings. He is an autistic servant, a person who, in spite of his autism, has an extraordinary ability in a certain areas. When his mother sent him to Queen's Mill, Queen's Mill School in London, his teacher, Chris Merris, began to realize that Stephen was communicating through his drawings. At the age of eight, he was drawing detailed pictures of architectures, cars, and imaginary post-earthquake cities. By the age of nine, with Mary's help, Stephen 
started talking at the age of 10, he produced a series of pictures which he called London Alphabet. Each drawing featured a London landmark, one for each letter of the alphabet. After Stephen and his work were the subject of a BBC program called The Foolish Wise Ones, in 1987, many viewers found the BBC. They were fascinated by Stephen's ability to look at a building once and reproduce it in incredible detail and wanted to know where they could buy his drawing. As a result, Stephen published his first book, Drawings. Since then, Stephen has become an extremely popular artist and has published a number of other books of his drawings and painting. Stephen is quite famous these days because of Stephen and others like him people are starting to take autism more seriously. As you see, uh, we note that uh, here we have read about the text and now we will see the vocabulary. I want you to repeat after me. Ability, autism, diagnose, Drawing, memorize. You see here, memorize with S, memorize with Z. Memorize with S is British, memorize with Z is American. Relationship, Asperger's syndrome, development, disorder, imaginary, new talent, expressions with mind, and they are very important, and I advise you to keep this expression by heart, be into minds, change your mind, keep something in mind, read someone's mind, speak your mind, be out of your mind, have got something on your mind, make up your mind, slip your mind, take your mind off something. Expressions with the brain, with brain, Brain child, brain wave, pick someone's brain, brainstorm, have something on the brain, super brain, adjectives, detailed, extraordinary, speechless, upset, embarrassing, remarkable, unique, upside, nouns, architecture, blockage, Forehead, landmark, loaf, scratch, slave, suspicion, audience, factory, lawyer, prime number, show, square root, viewer, verbs, appear, cause, feature, notes, perform, press, react, retire, stack. Yell, big, design, groan, operate, hook, punish, realize, squat, wrestle. Adverbs, immediately, perfectly, properly, seriously. These are the most important vocabulary in this uh, unit. Now we will do a exercise about the vocabulary. Yes, the boy has a remarkable, he can do anything. Reward, present, talent, award. Yes, the right answer is talent. Good. The writer, his first book three years ago, published, spread, announced, established. The right answer is published. The writer published his first book three years ago. Try to your mind and tell me as soon as possible whether you will go with me or not. Try to slip, keep in, 
be out of make up yes the right answer make up your mind here to decide he finds it hard to decide he seems to be into minds be out of his mind speak his mind slip his mind he finds it hard or difficult to decide when you find it hard to decide you are in two minds so the right answer he seems to be in two minds good okay now number five when he needed to have some rest he down beside me scattered squabbled squatted squandered down beside me so the right answer squatted yes next reading interesting stories to the problem space the problems i have at work keep in mind keeps in mind slips my mind takes my mind off make up my mind reading its story interesting stories of course takes my mind off means you take you out of the mood of the problem so the right answer takes my mind off the problem means that you the reading interesting story takes you out of the mood of the problem to a, a, a different mood so it takes my mind off we really need to get some new ideas let's all sit down and space for a while brainstorm brain child brain wave brain the right answer is brainstorm when you discuss different ideas we make a brainstorm space is a development disorder causing difficulties with social relationship and learning dualism permism pessimism automatism autism yes the right answer autism yes though he was only for the child had special abilities capabilities probabilities possibilities yes the right answer abilities yes though he was only four the child had has special abilities the teacher space part of the lesson as a class contest the teacher reviewed featured divided talk the teacher featured yes the right answer featured means here pointed out the teacher pointed out part of the lesson as a class contest or the teacher featured her work was that of some newspaper headlines criticism composition object subject her work was the subject yes don't stay silent please your mind keep your mind speak your mind read your mind change your mind speak your mind yes the right answer speak your mind means express yourself or talk about yourself the information i got from school books my mind very often i need something to help me not to forget the information I got from school books reads, speaks, slaps, changes my mind very often. I need something to help me not to forget. So slaps my mind. That means that I forget them. Okay. That's enough for today. I hope you have enjoyed my lesson. I want you to keep the vocabulary by heart. I want you to read the text carefully. Then we will do more exercise about the vocabulary and about the grammar for this unit. Till we meet again, thank you very much. Don't forget to watch the uh, video.
uh, till the end of the video. Thank you very much. Thank you for watching. Mr. Mahmoud Helmi from Al-Andalus School, the Egyptian section. Thank you.